Here you can see our minion is very low, and I know Tristana is going to want to walk up to last hit it. She has to walk up right now or else the tower is going to kill it, so I throw out my Q in the area she needs to position herself to. Tristana sees this and tries to evade the Q by walking around the tower, but I cover that option with my E and I hit her. Yo, what's up guys? Shodas here. Um, this is going to be the second episode of the Unringed Masters series, and I apologize for the delay. The patch was delayed one day, and then I wanted to get that Ash video out, so it's a little late, but here it is. Really quick, I wanted to talk about this series a bit more. Um, I'm never going to do clickbait, just like troll builds. I'm always going to be playing something that's meta and or just trying out builds that are actually good. I know there's like a lot of creators out there that do some like really wacky stuff. And I know this is, I think, around gold ish elo but yeah the goal for this series is to use builds that are actually good last episode we played thresh it was before the patch and we did not win that game which was pretty crazy i want to play something that is more has more agency so um, i'm gonna be playing like more mages or like senna I, i'm thinking i want to play senna this draft okay rakan tristana rakan tristana i think we need ap if top is not going to yeah okay so we need ap i can go seraphine actually so he wants to swap and we have lucian this lane's gonna be pretty rough um they're all in i'm almost hesitant to play seraphine because they can just like jump on me and then i die but i might just send it i could also maybe play brand um i'm not i don't think mages are actually very good in this current patch just because uh enchanters are just so broken and the items are cheaper and they're just better but oh, i don't even know what build i would go on brand so i'll probably just play seraphine there's actually a seraphine build that i've wanted to try out which is um surprise surprise echoes of helia rylize and like mandate so i'm gonna go airy mana flow band transcendence and then scorch oh maybe i can go gathering storm I kind of just want to win lane, so I'm going to go Scorch over Gathering Storm and then uh, Font of Life and then Revitalize and then double AP. So pretty much in this patch, Font of Life and Echoes of Helia is just the most broken interaction. The fact that you can trigger it off of this and it has no cooldown just makes almost all like supports or enchanters just so strong i also think echoes of Hila is just not balanced right now all right guys really quick uh quick tip if you're playing seraphine uh hit this button and mute her music and then you will play a lot better all right so moving into laning phase uh, i'm starting e just because if they jump on us i could cc them so level one we're going to be playing for we're gonna be playing for the level two push. Um, that was already a lot of damage, so they pretty much can't all in us anymore. We're about to hit two on these two melee minions. So I'm gonna walk forward. Okay, we get two here. Walk up. Okay, nice. They're already very chunked. Uh, I'm just gonna sit in the bush here. To take up space. Uh, the easiest way to land abilities with Seraphine is when you look at the AD carry. You, you pretty much watch your minions and then wait for the enemy AD carry to walk up and try to last it. And then that's when you should throw, throw out your abilities. Honestly, for all champions, it's like, it's just that simple. Um, I know a lot of lower players tend to just like randomly throw out abilities, but if you play like that, then it's just super free. Tristana's gonna back here. I kind of want to ward, but I think we win. We actually win if Zen comes. Pick that. Okay, nice. I'm actually gonna ward here. Lucian just took two turret hits. Yikes. No ward. So we're continent back. I want to back after this. 
So it's actually Siege Wave next, which is uh, good for us. It's a good time to take it back when it's a Siege Wave that's coming because the enemy won't be able to push the wave in fast enough because the tank, the Siege Tank is uh, too tanky for them to actually push in the wave the entire way. So um, I'm clicking Zinzel. I see that he has red, so that means he went blue to red. Um, so he's gonna be back bot side. I think his camps are coming up bot side, so we need to be careful. We are we have a ward here. We're not gonna get ganked, but just something to note that he's going to be clearing up. So as long as we as long as we dodge the first gank, the first timer, um, we should have we can just play super in their face. Okay, Tristan is gonna. Yeah, okay. I want to be careful for not hitting, last hitting this. I don't want to hold this. Nice. So they, okay, Tristana just warded. I could tell by the way she moved. Zoning here. I'm looking at this minion here because it's about to die. Freeze frame. I'm adding this part in because it's hard to see what I'm trying to explain in game. I know Trist wants to last hit this minion, so when it's super low, I throw out my ability because I know she will commit to hitting it. Oops, I did not mean to auto that, but... You see what I'm saying? How you kind of just need... Oh... You kind of just want to wait for... The AD carry to walk up. Right here. I knew that caster was low, so it's just really easy. I'm in this bush, taking up a lot of space. Melee minion's about to die, I just throw out my abilities. So, uh, Zinzao is showing mid. I'm guessing he cleared his topside already, and then he just went mid. But, I'm gonna keep an eye on the map. Okay, nice. Got, okay, nice. He got a double kill. Perfect. Playing the space here. Weaving in autos after my abilities to utilize the passive. Oh, they're so low. Does this kill? <laughs> it does, okay. Yeah. Seraphine actually does so much damage. I know I know people say like Seraphine is bad as a support and she's better as AD carry, but honestly, I feel like uh with this new Echoes of Helia build, it's she's actually like pretty pretty strong. Um I was playing this earlier this week on my stream. Okay, since I was here. I've exhaust and W, so I think we're we're okay. Needed a flash earlier. Damn, I'm one tick off for my spell thieves. It's kind of a bummer. Maybe I'll stay. I'll, I'll maybe bait the zigs here to walk up. Oh. I mean, I baited the Tristana here. Nice, I got my auto in. That, that's, that was so like, I, I knew I could walk up there because Trist used W and E on me. So I wasn't gonna die off of auto. Got my support item, huge. Uh, going Echoes of Helia. I'm gonna go the uh, Vandal Glass portion just cause it has more. Um, just cause it has, it, more, it has more AP than the chalice, but I think honestly going both is fine because chalice gives. Oh, it gives the same amount of base mana region. But yeah, I I just wanted more AP because we're pretty much smashing lane. Okay, I'm gonna go back in the bush to create space. 
Tristan is going to want to hit this melee, so when she walks up, I'll just queue it. Here you can see our minion is very low, and I know Tristan is going to want to walk up to last hit it. She has to walk up right now or else the tower is going to kill it, so I throw out my Q in the area she needs to position herself to. Tristana sees this and tries to evade the Q by walking around the tower, but I cover that option with my E and I hit her. Okay. Nice, we hit it both. I should not have W'd there. I'm a little worried. Oh, okay, Zinzao's top. We're chilling. I need to stop getting hit by that. Yeah, Rakan Q actually heals so much, so me getting hit by those Qs is just so grief. Needs to play a little bit more respectfully on that. Just playing safe. I have six. If I if I land my uh double root, then it's uh we should just insta-kill Tristana. Rakan is 6 though. He's gonna hit this. Nah, Tris, Tris is too low. Yeah, like Rakan got an engage, but Tris is too low to jump in. That's like ideally how you want this matchup to be played out. It's that you make it very... So there, Rakan Trist is a very strong 2v2 and... I'm dead. Rakan Trist is a very 2... is a they, they hard win this lane, but if I can pretty much poke either Rakan or Tristana down really low, then we... Um, like, they can't engage, so we just like win the lane but there we got ganked that was uh my bad i was kind of we were a little bit too far pushed up oh no i think zinzo kills them or not zinzo i think he also kills them all here oh okay movement oh you missed the q Rip. Yo, he's in here. I'm gonna fake like I don't know. Oh. Hundred thirty healing and hundred thirty seven magic damage from that. Huge. that I'm gonna W here for the HP it is Mia I don't know where Rakan is oh there he is so I have old I'm a little low Ziggs is coming I'm gonna eat Rakan to not let him move. Rotate to this. I'm gonna W to dodge that. Oh, I need a. I need. Definitely did not need to flash that. Zinzao's behind us. I need to flash that. I need to just hover around. I'm. I'm kind of cut off here. I can't walk up. Tristan is literally waiting right here, so I just have to wait. Here. Okay, nice, perfect. Yeah, that was a really awkward fight. Um, Lucian flashes out of Zig's ult, and Yasuo lands a Q, so he goes on it, and then Hecarim's on Dragon, so. Uh, recalling here is fine. Ideally, I would want to push this, but I mean, Lucian's backing, so that's okay. I want to get boots, and then. Um, I'm gonna go Rylai's here, so. Kale is a little fed, which is. kinda scary. 
This guy cannot walk this way. Yeah, I angled that. So that would hit Tristana too. Just very illegal pathing by Rakan. I'm gonna push one more wave and then probably rotate. Oh, I took everything. Oopsies. Here I see Kale and Zinzao top lane and Ziggs mid, so I know I can walk into the jungle bot side freely because we just killed Tristan and Rakan. The wards I'm putting down are great when you have bot lane ahead because you can see deep into the enemy's blue side jungle. I'm on 850 gold. I think I go Ionian boots. Since I get hit by Ziggs Q, I assume there's a ward here, so I use my sweeper. Maybe not. Maybe I stay for this. Being like is TPing. Oh, this will be good for us, I think. Did we get Harold? We did get Harold. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, if Kale got the Hecarim shut down, that would have been really bad for us. But thank god he lived, so. I have Ionian boots. Uh, I have Rylai's. 1.7k away. Probably gonna go Rylai's and then Mandate. So normally I could, you could probably go Staff of Flowing Water or Ardent, but this is, what is this? Or in gold, silver, so I do not. I'd rather have damage than buff my allies because I feel like my allies are not good. Oh, I got Ziggs too. Nice. Huge, 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 huge. Okay, so we need to end this pretty fast because uh, Kale is very strong. I do so much damage, by the way. I pop my sweeper here because I want to clear vision down the river as I rotate to Hecarim to go for Tristana. Nice. I'm going to go E. Max second. I have Blasting Wand, so I am just so strong. Their mid and AD carry are sprinting it. They're 0707, Jesus. Okay, Dragon's coming up in 44 seconds, so I'm just padding there. Ekram is backing. I'm just gonna hover Yasuo. Pretty much, I wanna stay away from Gangplank because he's 1 in 8. And he's like a lose con. So I don't. A lot of people talk about win cons in League, but I think. Talking about lose cons is also important. So, yeah, the person that is not playing well, you should stay away from because uh, you just want to play around the person that's very strong on your team. So I'm going to just hunt this guy. Oh, this is so bad. Nice. I, I can clip him here. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, Jesus. That was almost so bad. This, I'm pretty sure Hecarim can solo Drake, so... We can just get this tower. Push this. I'm gonna Q. I might take the cast. Okay, I took all the wave. I did not mean to do that. My bad. I'm eating good. Okay, nice. I'm gonna put this ward down in the middle. This ward is really nice because you can see where the enemy is rotating. And then Baron's coming up as well, so I'm just gonna put 
ward right here. Bail out Lucian. I have Ronduins now. This guy needs to be careful. They're like all topside. I'm gonna grab a pink here. Now I don't really buy pinks until it's like late game. You'll notice um, in the early game I didn't buy any pinks. Um, partially it's because this is like bronze and silver so I feel like they don't ward a lot anyways. But if you're playing enchanters I think getting your first getting your mythic spike is just so your the spike is just insane. It's probably the strongest spike in the game honestly for how early you can get it. So I prioritize getting my items. I know there's a ward there. I'm not going to clear it. I don't clear this ward because I need to rotate to this fight ASAP. Nice. Let's go Baron. Dude, I wish he would just come. We could take this if... Oh no. I'm just gonna push this. Might be too late. Maybe not. I think we do this fast enough. Yeah, I don't even think they're thinking about it. I kind of want to tank this because... Um, I want to take it faster. I hate, I hate that. Wow, okay, nice. We got it, but... Dude, when they throw an ability when it's low, and your jungler is... And you don't trust your jungler, that shit is so anxiety inducing. Okay, so I'm gonna get mandate. Uh, I'm waiting like 10 gold here. We sh plan is to just go siege mid. Okay, Yasuo is backing. So it's really important here after you get Baron when you're about to siege not to get caught because um, the enemy is on the map first. And a lot of the times in like high ELO, they'll try to like catch you They'll like immediately engage on you like right here because they'll know that your team is desynced or if they know that your team is like spread out so like here gangplank needs to back okay he's deeping that's fucking crazy i think he just dies though yeah this guy is uh crazy what is this guy doing oh my god that guy was on twitter or something he was probably browsing twitter.com slash show lol. Okay, buddy. We need to grab this and then go bot. Hit this. I'm gonna W just to heal uh, Lucian. I wanna... Okay, I was, I was gonna say I wanna ult, but I wanna get like a good angle. I have exhaust here. Okay. Nice. I, I waited for... Um, just... I think Tristana was expecting me to use my abilities on Ziggs after he comes out of Zhonya's, but I knew Ziggs was going to die, so I just went for uh, Tristana there and she didn't expect it. Okay, well, GG's. That was, uh, that was a game. <laughs> that was uh, game two of the series. All right, so that's 1-1 one, one of the series. Uh, we are in bronze two, getting, we're still in our placements, so we got ADLP, but um, every episode on the bottom right, you can see my uh, little graph here, and it'll basically show you where we are. It's not updated right now, it, it takes like a minute, but um, every episode you can see where I am, what the 
uh, account win loss is. And yeah, I that was a really good, that was a really clean Sarah game. I feel like I actually want to check the Echoes of Helia damage as damage and healing because I didn't check it at the end. But I, I actually do really feel like this build is very strong right now. Just because not, not only the synergy from the healing and shield shielding, but also because of also because of the amount of AP that you get. So I actually checked I'm checking the replay right now, but it says I have 2.9k healing done and 2.5k magic damage done, which is actually a lot. So I feel like Sarah could utilize this build really well. I didn't even finish building my mandate. And so like once I was able to build mandate, it would proc on literally every ability because I have red eyes. So I think this build has a lot of potential and maybe Seraphine support might be, might even become back to meta. Uh, currently in high yellow though, no one's really running it. I feel like there's so many builds right now that are under the radar and just because the item changes were so big. So we'll be exploring that those builds uh, later in the series, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, next episode will be released. I want to say, I want to try to go for like two to three episodes a week, but we'll have to see. Thank you so much for watching though. Goodbye.